Welcome to Foundations, Cycle 2, Week 23. Let's look at some fun ways for you to enjoy and discover this week's memory work. New Grammar For math this week, we will be memorizing the distributive law. The distributive law states A, open parentheses, B plus C, closing parentheses, equals AB plus AC. One fun way to help your student memorize this law is to have them make up hand motions associated with the letters. In English this week, we will be memorizing the definition of an adjective. An adjective modifies a noun or pronoun by describing, qualifying, or limiting, and answers the questions what kind, how many, which, whose. You can get your student up and moving by heading outdoors to dribble a basketball while you recite the definition. If the weather is not agreeable, you can pass the ball back and forth indoors. For history this week, we will be memorizing a history sentence about the Gulf War. In 1990, President George H.W. Bush sent troops to the Persian Gulf to expel Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein from Kuwait during the Gulf War. If you have access to a Cycle 2 audio CD, it's a great idea to listen to this song on the track. You can also write this history sentence on a whiteboard allowing your child to have one word erased at a time while their eyes are closed and then opening their eyes and telling you which word is missing. This can be repeated until the entire history sentence is stated from memory. And now on to Latin. We'll be reviewing our first conjugation endings, future perfect tense, that were already introduced during first semester. Arrow, eris, eret, Aramis, Eritus, Errant. Your child can have fun zooming around your living room like an airplane to help them remember the first word in this conjugation ending group, arrow. And now let's look at timeline. We'll actually be completing our last seven events on our timeline that are included in our timeline song this week. Age of Information and Globalization, Watergate, President Nixon resigns, fall of communism in Eastern Europe, European Union formed, apartheid abolished in South Africa, September 11, 2001, rising tide of freedom. It's a great idea to lay out this week's timeline cards on your floor. Mix them up and have your child put them back in order after you've gone over the correct order several times. For new grammar geography this week, we'll be looking through the countries of Central Asia. These include Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, and Kyrgyzstan. You can have your child identify where each of these locations is on the map. Then have them look back and forth at the labeled map and a blank black line one. Finally, you can call out these locations and have your child locate them on the black line map. Practice using show me and tell me during this time. Finally, for science, we will be memorizing how does heat flow? Radiation, conduction, and convection. Challenge your child to come up with motions that help him or her to remember these three parts of the memory work. Let's move on to hands-on fine arts. Hands-on fine arts for this week consists of an overview of the orchestra. Have fun listening to the orchestra song together as a family. You can pick out individual instrument parts using words on page 187 of your foundation's curriculum. Take time this week to research and print out an orchestra seating chart online. You can also compare a romantic period orchestra seating chart with the seating chart that's currently used by orchestras today. 
Don't forget that you can also print out your orchestra puppets in your foundation's curriculum for your student to manipulate as he or she listens to the orchestra song. And now for hands-on science. In week 23, for hands-on science, we will be exploring and building egg protectors. Here are some suggestions for making the most of this time with your student. Make sure to check CC Connected for information for conversations about constructing egg protectors. If you don't have straws at home or popsicle sticks, use pencils or pens instead. Feel free to use other additional materials that are around your home, including empty toilet paper rolls. Your student might also enjoy the challenge of making a homemade parachute for his or her egg protector this week. Finally, don't forget to have deviled eggs for a snack, a fun and tasty way to integrate this scientific study. Next up, presentations. This week, use a digital online platform to reach out to those who are isolated in order to share presentations. Don't forget, presentations are for faraway family members too. And now finally, let's look at a grammar review game. To finish up and review your memory work for this week, try playing Erase the Face. Draw a simple face shape with eyes, ears, nose, and mouth. Choose words from your memory work, drawing one blank for each missing letter in the piece of memory work. Have your child guess each missing letter. If a letter is guessed incorrectly, erase one part of the face. See if your child can try to solve the memory work puzzle before the face is erased. After the puzzle is solved, you can recite the memory work together. Have a great week 23, and don't forget to check out CC Connected for more resources and information.